Hi, in this video we're going to talk about how to use our calculator to find the p-value when we're doing a hypothesis test with two proportions, with two samples. So we're going to go through this, so this goes with 9, 2 in our notes. So we're going to go through this example. So the claim is that insecticide treated bed nets reduce malaria among infants. So we've got two different populations, the infants who sleep under the bed nets and the ones who don't sleep under the bed nets. And we're going to test this with our alpha being 0 0.01, a 1% significance level. So we're going to go down to the study results. So the study um, results tell us that 15 out of 343 infants with the bed nets develop malaria, and 27 out of 294 infants without bed nets develop malaria. So to do this on our calculator, we're going to hit stat, go over to tests, and choose two prop Z test. So this is number six. Okay. So our X1 is going to be how many infants with the bed net. So 15 out of our N1s are total. So 343. And then our X2 and our N2 are the ones without bed nets. So 27 out of 294. Okay, now we're going to go back up and look. Our original claim was that the bed nets reduce malaria. So P1, the ones with bed nets, are less than P2. So we want the less than option. Okay, and then we hit calculate. And what we really need is our P value, which is this kind of third line, 0 0.00. Seven, four. If we round to four decimal places, so remember our alpha was point oh, excuse me, point zero one. So point zero zero seven four is less than point oh one. So we reject the null hypothesis. And since our claim was the alternate hypothesis, since we rejected the null hypothesis, we support the alternate hypothesis. Okay. So again, to get the p-value on your calculator, you're going to hit stat, over to tests, and choose number six, two prop z test.